folks, this is Sven Jungbeck for you. And today I want to teach you three ideas on the descent of jungology or night and day. So in, uh, I'm talking more or less about something that you can do in any major song. After the 2-5, instead of playing G, we sometimes go to the tritone, which is C sharp, and from there descend chromatically back to the root and harmonize that. So we end up having C sharp half diminished, C minor 6 or C minor 7, whatever you like. We can play G with B in the bass. We can rather play B minor 7, which is a perfect substitution for a G major. We can play B flat diminished with any chord on top. And we can play A minor 7. And then we can play D7, or we can even play the trident substitution A flat dominant 7 raised 11. And we will go back to G. This can, you know, be executed with lots of voicings. Usually when we play rhythm guitar to jangology, we will play instead of C sharp half diminished A with C sharp in the bass, which is more or less the same chord. There's a lot of name giving in music. And to my mind, this is not really the most important thing. For example, you could say, wait, this is not B flat diminished. It's E flat seven with B flat in the bass. But you know, I mean, it's useful to know it probably, for the non-genius persons among us, like me and probably you. But actually, you know, yeah, there's a place to learn it, but today it's not about that. So what you can do here on these progressions, because it has a lot of chords and it seems to be pretty complex, but the first good news is it's all referring to the note G and to the key of G. So you will get good results by just improvising with the G major scale. But without knowing your target notes, you will end up sounding wrong from time to time like in any kind of music. You need to know the apaches, you need to know the target notes, otherwise you will never be able to improvise the right way. This is like a, a bitter truth, or not bitter, but it's the truth. So you gotta, there is no shortcut to, 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 uh, to, to, to go a different way. But actually there's another, another light, little nice idea that you can do, and you can use only this one note G and make something out of that, because this is how the progression was originally used. So the singer might want to go So, and this you can use for your solo, playing ideas like picking the G with the index, doing a typical gypsy jazz slide, having the F sharp here with the pinky on the G string, one string below and playing stuff like and this will sound good. You can do it with an octave as well, like stuff like that. It's also cool and you can do it an octave higher, whatever you like. So this is the first idea and it's very simple. The second idea is taking a snippet of the E minor blues pentatonic and this is also very useful. So you can play stuff like So what I just did is I took this snippet E a, G, E. You can learn that in any position, or you already know that in any position, I hope so at least. So you can do, go like... Stuff like that. And it will also sound good, like... that sounds very bluesy and you can use that all the time the last thing is the idea that I want to share with you is an idea of arpeggiating it and in the end you can mix it in whatever way you like so if I try to arpeggiate this descent it's very important to use the target notes in a good way so it won't sound like a boring attitude so the lick that I prepared for you guys is this one one two three four So what 
I'm doing here is I'm playing a C sharp half diminished arpeggio starting on the G on four end. One, two, three, four. I'm playing a B flat here, which is not in the arpeggio, but I like it better than the B. C sharp and E. So G, B, C sharp, E, F sharp is also not in the arpeggio. G, B flat, C sharp, E. And that leads me to the next note, and this is the E flat, which is the third of C minor. I could play it in chords. Like that, you know? So you go like one, two, three, four. I'm slowing down a bit. This is easy, it's just a what I'm doing after the C, like E flat, C, B, A, G, E flat, D, C, and I'm ending on the B, which is the next chord. So in here I'm just playing a little scale snippet of G major, very simple. This is it. like. And then on the B diminished I play A, A, C sharp. So I'm still in the snippet of G, but I add the C sharp as a target note for the B diminished chord. And I, in the end, I will play a typical 2-5 uh, starting on the third of A minor on the C. So this is like a standard phrase and you can vary it in lots of ways. Basically, the key about that, and this is even more important than learning it note for note, is to know what I'm doing. So I'm playing the third here, playing the octave of the third, playing G sharp, and then approaching the A chromatically from B. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One. Like this. So this is A minor. But instead of the root, now it's the fifth because this is the point where I'm on D. And I'm playing D dominant 7, 9 with fifth, third, nine. Or you can do like. You can leave the root here. Like this. And then I'm playing G as a, as a chord this one and then I'm playing D dominant 7 flat 9 the other way starting on the flat 9 E flat C uh, sorry E flat C A F sharp G this is the whole lick one two three four in books and they are very good you know you can listen to great players uh, stealing those kind of licks and trying to play them as often as you can and I recommend gathering like four or five licks that you use on Jungology every time and then you exchange it with you know improvising with the G scale by ear taking these bluesy picking up these bluesy ideas picking up the one note ideas and also playing chords because this is also an option what you can do and what you should do instead of playing lines. Let's say you play a line first on the first, you know, on the first A, like maybe you're playing a line, very jazzy line, the one you just learned before. But then you go like Also very cool and it happens a lot just go ahead and do it and try it so I hope that helped you and good luck with Jungology and Night and Day beautiful songs and I hope you will involve on these songs concerning the improvisation for more information search my channel there's tons of lessons and a lot of nice uh, performances by a lot of great players and this was Sven Jungbeck for you cheers mm -hmm.